Hey there guys, it's Body Chef Chris. Tonight, it's Friday night, so we're gonna do a Friday night fish fry. I'm from Wisconsin and typically we do this with perch and french fries with a heavy batter, of course along with a beer, but we're gonna do a little healthier this time. We're gonna do a keto style fish and chips. So we're gonna use mahi mahi, it's very lean, clean fish. We're gonna use a low carb tortilla, it kind of carbs down to about seven grams of pork per each tortilla itself. Instead of a heavy batter, we're gonna use pork panko, which means pork rinds, round up, really fine, no carbohydrates, even better flavor. All right, pork rinds instead of chips, we're gonna use bitchin' sauce, which is one of my local San Diego favorites, it's made with almonds, runs again low in carb, high in those good omega-3s and six and nines. Also to kick it up a notch, I like a little spiciness, so jalapenos, little paprika, red pepper flakes, and, uh, and cilantro, and we'll make a little broccoli slaw to go along with that. All right, let's do it. You get both sides. Boom. And that's gonna go right in the panko. Very simplistic. All right. We're just gonna repeat the same process. Flip. One Two. egg wash. Drip it off. Then we're going right in the panko. One, two. You want a pretty good coating? Beautiful. All right. Next step. Cut it. All right. We got the halibut all coated up. On the panko crust in, super simplistic. We're gonna just take a little sea salt on the top of that, get the flavor going. We don't need too much. Keep the flavor simple. Less calories, the better, but use those seasonings to enhance our food, all right? Now that that's all ready to rock and roll, we're gonna get the stove going. And what I added there is a little coconut oil, which is virgin coconut oil. And what coconut oil is, is an MCT, so medium chain triglyceride. What that's cool for a ketogenic style diet is, it gives you energy when you don't have carbohydrates. Um, doesn't break down as fast as carbohydrate, but it gives you more of an even, consistent energy flow, which is what we're looking for. And also tastes bloody great with the fish fry, right? So while that's heating up, at the same time we're gonna get ready for our broccoli slaw. You want a little crunch, a little green, right? We're just gonna toss broccoli slaw, just got carrots, broccoli, very low carb. Another thing that's already pre-cut, at Trader Joe's, everything's about efficiency. You know, you don't need to get so crazy with ingredients and chop everything up. These, these grocery stores these days are making things so simplistic for us. All right, we're gonna add a little cilantro, a little micro cilantro as well, just a rough chop. Perfect. One of my other favorite ingredients is from Kite Hill. It's an almond yogurt, all right? I don't do too much dairy, even on the keto diet. I just have stomach issues and lactose issues, so I try to do all my cooking with dairy-free products. Um, almond yogurt, it tastes very much like Greek yogurt. It is uh, mostly fat and protein. Oh, now it's a part of it. All right, well, let's go and let's throw the fish on. Stop. Easy, all right? Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little citrus to that. All right, we got a lime. Oh, we smash the lime down. Once again, get that bicep and tricep workout in. Slice and dice, just take your hand, and just bring it across. This lime's a little ripe, all right? Getting the forearms in it, perfect. All right, that's ready to rock and roll. We're gonna move over to the fish. Pan's getting hot, got a little sizzle going. Perfect, that's what we're looking for. Substitute for Greek yogurt, for mayo, um, you're cutting that carb, carbs down, but you're still keeping that great flavor. All right, so we got the slaw going here. Once again, it's just broccoli, some carrots, some fresh cilantro. We use that Kite Hill almond yogurt. Um, this stuff's awesome, guys. As far as being lactose-free, it's only one gram of carb, 13 grams of protein, sorry, 13 grams of fat, six grams of protein per one-fourth cup. Makes it great. All right, hear that in the background? That means the fish is getting golden brown. Um, we're gonna leave that on each side for about three to four minutes. Other ingredients we're gonna throw on the on slaw that are really simplistic. We're gonna do some paprika, add a little smoky flavor. Like a uh, little heat. I like it spicy, and so is my, my wife. And my Red son. pepper flakes. So we like and then later on, we'll use a little bit of jalapenos as well. So I think the fish is. Best use the tongs in these kind of situations. Make sure. 
cook it without uh, frying it. Once again, you're cutting calories for your food. Now. Actually, I actually like to put them over direct heat. All right, get those, get those marks. Fire. I'm going to get in trouble. All right, get nice and toasty. Perfect. All right, so like I said, the fun part of this meal is it's Friday night. You're going to have a meal that tastes like it's full of carbs, but you're going to have less than 15 grams net in this, in this whole meal, which is awesome. And it goes great, great for that Friday night for friends and family. And it's super simple to do. All right, cut it. All right, guys, we did the, all that prep work and cook time in 12 minutes flat. How's that for a Friday night fish fry that you're gonna enjoy? But we obviously have to taste it and make sure we did a good job because I don't wanna be missing those carbs later on tonight before I go to sleep. All right, let's pick this big boy up. Oh, man. Molly's cooked perfectly. You got that crunch from that panko on the outside. That creamy yogurt sauce on the broccoli slaw, that little zest of lime in there. And of course, I mean, it's chips. They're way better. No carbs, high protein, tastes amazing. You're gonna enjoy this with your friends and family Friday night or any night of the week. All right, enjoy your weekend. Keep it low carb, Body Chef Chris. Tune in now.